Hello everyone, this is Elizabeth with Scott Leroy Marketing. In this tip video, I'm going to show you how to get your Google Ads account created and connected to command and create your first search ad in command. So first, I've gone to ads.google.com and I'll click sign in in the top right corner. Now I am signed in to a personal email address. Unfortunately, this is not available for KW email addresses at this time due to the payment account information that's going to be stored. So make sure to log in to your personal Gmail address first and then select new Google Ads account. Then you'll select your main advertising goal and click next. Enter your business name and click next. Enter your website and click next. Here is where you can preview how people view your website on a mobile device and a desktop device. Once you're happy with that, click Next. Now, in order to create an account, you do have to create an ad through this Google platform first. So you would input your headline number one, which would go here. Headline number two, which would go here. Headline number three, which will go here. And then description number one and two underneath. Do pay attention to the character limits as well. The given default ones are under the character limit, fortunately. But if they are not, just decrease what you want to say. These ads are just short and sweet and to the point. And then last but not least, you would enter your phone number if you want a call button in your ad at the very bottom of it. And click Next. Here is where you're going to add keywords to match your ad to searches. So here's some of the suggested ones. You can add a new one by clicking here. So let's say I want these. I'm just going to choose a few here. And once I've selected my keywords, click Next. Here is where you would either toggle to advertise near a particular address or in certain zip code cities or regions. These look good to me as they're the closest counties to my area. You can also add by zip code, city, state, or country. Once you're satisfied with this page, click Next. On this page, you're going to set a budget. For this example, I'm going to enter my own, but you can leave the recommended budget. 
let's say. And of course, if you do dip below typical competitor budgets, you'll get this alert. And then you can either choose to run continuously or select an end date. And it's going to default you to a date, but you can always change by clicking. And once you're satisfied with this page, click Next. Here is where you're going to review your campaign. So you want to review the name, goal, website, each individual field, maybe even getting a second set of eyes on it to make sure it's all spelled properly. One thing I do want to point out is you'll notice that each word is capitalized. This is the recommended method for an ad campaign. But of course, you don't have to have every word capitalized. You can just do sentence case. So once you have everything reviewed on this page, click Next. And then you're going to enter all of this information here and click Submit. Click Accept and Continue. Then you'll receive the congratulations. You can click this button to explore your campaign. You can see Google's tutorial showing you around the entire platform. For right now, I'm just going to skip. And here's the dashboard with my campaign. You will notice in this list that your ad is going through a policy check. This usually takes one business day. So until this ad is approved, you won't be able to add it to command just yet. But as soon as it is, you can continue to part two. So now that my campaign has been approved and has since ended, because I only did it for a short time, you can now add your account to command. So we'll open a new tab and go to agent.kw.com and sign in if you are not already. Click your name in the top right corner. Click Settings. And then scroll down till you find the Marketing Automation section. It's going to be about two-thirds the way down. And then find Google AdWords. And then go over to the right and click Connect Account. This confirmation is just letting you know that Google Ads handles all payment activity, so the card that you have saved in command in other sections will not work, so you'll have to keep up your payment within Google Ads. Click OK. And you'll see a pop-up. Let's get it moved to the center. So I'm just going to click my account. Click Allow, and you'll see it load, and you'll select your Google Ads account and click Continue. And you'll see the green connected banner at the top. So that's part two of connecting your Google Ads account to command. Now we can head over to Campaigns. It's the megaphone icon, number seven in the list. Of course, while you're still learning, you can click the red KW in the top left corner. 
And again, we're headed to campaigns. From the dashboard, you'll click create campaign in the top right corner and select search ad. Enter your campaign name and goal and click create campaign. So just like the other campaigns, you'll see the preview on the right hand side and the different sections on the left. Here's where you can change the name of your campaign and the goal if you so choose. The next section is the Google ad itself, so you'll click configure and you'll see a few of these fields look the same like headline one, two, the destination URL. So you'll enter what you want the heading one and two to be. Again, remembering that the standard is to capitalize each word Remembering to stay within that character limit. Next is the URL. So if you want to do just listed homes like I have here, let's find the URL by going to my command website, or of course, in your case, your command website, or other third party website. And I'm gonna click search. And I'm going to scroll into my area. And I'm going to narrow the filters up at the top right here. So now that we have our page that we want people to go to, you would simply left click on the URL in the address bar and right click copy. And then we're going to go back to our campaigns tab and right click paste as plain text. And I'm going to delete the first HTTPS colon slash slash and let that load. Perfect. Now for display path one and two, that's where we can kind of alter this long string of random numbers and letters. So display path one, I'm going to enter just listed and display path two, I'm going to choose the city, but really you can choose any combination that you want and in description. You will see this section is required. You have a character limit of 80. And I always suggest hovering over the little eyes and circles just to learn more about the field. So for description, I'm going to enter And then for the keywords, you can add up to 10. You'll see you can click to start typing. And then hit enter to apply it. So there are some keywords there. Next, you'll see targeting. 
Again, this section is required. So you can search for locations by clicking and typing. Let it load and then select from the drop down. For gender, I'm going to leave it as any. And for age, this section is required. Again, that little red asterisk. So I'm just going to select all of the available age ranges, or you can choose undetermined. And then for ad placement, you'll see three options search network, display network, or both. Search network, simply put, is Google and search engines. Display network um, is simply um, other third-party publishers that Google syndicates to, like YouTube or Pandora. And once I'm done with this section, click Save. And last but not least, you should see a familiar section, Duration and Budget. KW recommends a 10-day campaign with a budget of $1 per channel per day, which is kind of a standard to get your ad out there. So I'm going to do it for one week. And you can set your budget. Again, the minimum for this as well is $1 per day. So you can see once I go below that, my check mark will turn off. And once you're done, click Save. Now you can either save draft, which you can come back and check on your ad, make sure everything is spelled correctly prior to publishing, or straight publish. If you have any questions about this or anything else, reach out to us and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.